What's going on guys? So I'm recalling a few random GameStop stores and getting their opinion on Xbox One console versus the PS4 console. So the plan is I'm going to act like I'm buying a console for Black Friday and I'm just going to straight up say, do you think I should buy an Xbox One or PS4? And I'm just going to kind of play dumb, act like I don't know anything about either console and just kind of see where the conversation takes me. Um, I might just ask a couple of random or weird questions and I'm thinking for each call I might just make some ridiculous claim and see what they say. Uh, like I'm thinking this first one I might ask him about the Red Ring of Death on the Xbox One, which is obviously a thing on the 360 but not the Xbox One. Just kind of just kind of see where it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and call this first store. Thank you for calling GameStop where you can get the hottest new video games console. So of course they have a robot call. All right, so it said to press 1 to talk to an associate. So let's do that. Okay, it's ringing. Hi, team, we're calling GameStop over in Auto Parkway. We are bringing your phones and tech devices for cash at the $500. We're checking up, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm interested in buying a console for Black Friday, and I'm just yeah. wondering if I can get an opinion on if you think I should buy an Xbox One or a PS4. Okay, so I don't know the exact sale prices yet, mate. So, but if I had to honestly, t like, basically just tell you between the two, um, do you, what games do you play? Uh, really or anything. Do you see yourself playing? Uh, pretty much anything to have fun. I haven't played consoles in a in a while. Um, just kind of something okay. to do. Uh, I don't really have a really anything in mind. I see. Um, next question. Are you into like Spider-Man or baseball? Uh, sure. Yeah, if I can. If, if, like because because uh, like what I'm trying to get at is that PlayStation has a few more exclusives than uh, Xbox does. Okay. Xbox still has the uh, like Halo and Gears games that are out and coming out, but I mean PlayStation also has like games like Death Stranding, Days Gone, um, you know, Spider Man, and Movie the Show. This is a lot more exclusive. So I mean, okay. But I personally have both. But without going with the sale price, I would personally probably say PlayStation. Okay. And that's because of the because of the games they have? Yeah, personally, just because of the game selection. That's what drove me to PlayStation. Okay. That's good advice. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, of course. But, you know, that's also going without knowing the prices. So, I mean, Xbox may just have a really better deal yeah. on Black Friday. So you may find yourself buying an Xbox. But, you know. Yeah. Know. Okay. Do you guys have any, like, uh, trade-in deals right now because I, I think I have an old 360 laying around somewhere. I'm not sure if that'll get me any money or anything. But No, you'll definitely get something for it, either in in-store trade credit or cash. No uh, personal deals like, or like special deals right now, but I mean, give it a couple of days, like on the week of Black Friday, we may have something on the day of Black Friday or maybe that week so like say if you come in that black friday to also buy your system and you're trading in that xbox 360 you may get a little bit more but i'm not okay. too sure uh we have, uh we don't we'll, we'll, we'll get the ads and like exactly the sale prices probably a good day or so before you guys do okay i got you so but yeah but whenever uh we do and you see like actual signage um just, just call right back and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know everything that's up okay Sounds good. One one other random question. Um, yeah. I, I had a 360, or one of my first 360s I had back in the day got a red ring of death. Uh, does the Xbox One or PS4 have any issues with like a red ring of death or anything like that? Oh, no, no. Um, Xbox One, not that I know of. They, they're very good on fixing that stuff. Uh, PS4, no. no uh, all the, both, both these newer generation consoles are really good at not having any weird problems like the ring of death did the okay PS3 and xbox 360 was an interesting series yeah but that... they fixed a lot of their issues okay i got you all right i appreciate the info yeah of course man yeah anytime anytime all right appreciate it have a good night of course man yeah have a great rest of your night all right bye all right guys so that that conversation actually went a lot better than i thought it would that guy was actually really cool and nice i feel kind of bad asking some of those things because I, I knew the answer and he was like really genuine on answering them and I kind of threw the Red Ring of Death thing in there at the end. I wanted to throw it in there nicely because that guy was being really nice and 
actually helping me out. All right, guys, so I'm going to call another GameStop now. And I'm thinking my weird question that I'll try to work into there this time is I'm going to ask about the durability of the consoles and basically say that I have a cat that likes to knock my consoles off the shelves. And I'm going to see if they can give me kind of like a, a durability thing. Like, you know, I'll, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I have a cat that sometimes knocks stuff off the shelf. Do you think this cat <laughs> will knock my Xbox One or PS4 off the shelf? And we'll, we'll see what they have to say. Thank you for calling GameStop, where you can get the hottest new... All right, so I had to press one again to speak to an associate. So let's see how this goes. Good evening. Thanks for calling games. I'll get another 500 bucks for all smartphones and tablets for the Delta. Hey, so I'm I'm interested in potentially buying a Xbox One or PS4 on Black Friday, and I, I just kind of wanted to go straight to the source and see if somebody had if you had like an opinion on on which way I should go. Well, considering uh, the biggest right now is definitely going to be PlayStation because they have a terabyte, two hundred dollar system that comes with three games. That comes with Last of Us, God of War, and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay. So I'm just going to okay. tell you that right now. Uh, I personally believe PlayStation, Xbox. I don't know what they're doing for the physical console, but they do have a uh, a two hundred dollar. No, they have a hundred fifty dollar all t uh, all digital terabyte system, Xbox One S. Okay. Which is okay. Yeah, how, uh, how you know which one I prefer? Yeah, <laughs> how much was that uh, that deal you said for the PlayStation? How much did that cost? It's gonna be two hundred. Two hundred. I mean, that's okay. practically like two twenty, two thirty, and two of the yeah. games are digital. But it's, again, three games at a terabyte PS4 system for two hundred. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good deal. It's kind of obvious of a good deal, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is that is that like is that a brand new or is that used a used deal? Brand new. Good. Okay. Pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, no brand new, dude. Yeah, uh, I got one random question about kind of the durability of the console. So I have this, I have mm -hmm. this cat that's kind of known to knock stuff stuff off a shelf uh, where I put stuff. Mm -hmm. um, just curious if you think if a, a cat, do you think a cat could knock a PS4 off a shelf <laughs> very easily? I guess it kind of depends on where you place it. Like, if you place mm -hmm. it somewhat securely, I'm pretty sure your cat shouldn't knock it down, but if you place okay. it, like, loosely, like, on the edge, it would kind of be anything could be knocked down easily, so... Yeah, maybe I could just strap it down or something, or get rid of my mm -hmm. cat. Probably the best bit. They're, they're yeah. tough, but, I mean, it, it depends on where you place it, so, yeah, I would honestly say secure it. Yeah, okay. That's probably a good idea. Um, do you, you know if you have any other deals coming out for the PS4 and Xbox One, like, on just specific Black Friday deals, other than the uh, that PS4 deal uh, you just told me about? Let's see. Uh, I know that both Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus, especially PlayStation Plus, goes down by like twenty dollars for a year. So if you want to go online, that's definitely the kind of stock up. Um, controllers, I, again, I, most of my stuff that I know is definitely more on the PlayStation side because controllers for PS4 uh, they go down to thirty nine ninety nine. Like tw again, save twenty dollars. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, and there's a headset that's also going to be cheaper too. I think they're making the gold headsets like sixty nine ninety nine. Okay. Nice. Do you have any... Sorry, uh, most of my stuff is on PlayStation stuff. Xbox, I think, from history, and this is me being optimistic, because last year, Xbox offered, like, if you got a brand new system, they gave you, like, a $25 or $50 gift card. You might be able to do that, too, but it's kind of obvious the PlayStation is kind of killing it this year. Yeah. Are, are there any new games that you'd recommend picking up if I get a PS4? Um, depends on what your friends play and what you're interested in, because my opinion... I, I mainly play like anime stuff and RPGs, and yeah. then the occasional like uh, fighter. So yeah, I mean, I'll I'll play anything. I don't really have a much of a preference. Um, just looking for something to do, really. Yeah, I hear you. Well, just your friends play, or what else do your what will your boys play? I uh, I don't know. I don't really have most of my friends don't really play video games, so I'm just looking to I don't know maybe something they'll want to join in and try out to maybe some local multiplayer games or something uh, um but then i guess it'd be kind of a preference of what you're interested in because i could just skip fire things like cod or like uh world combat but it, it'd be kind of what you're interested in yeah okay yeah i kind of like fighting games i could so you said like is there a new cod that's out yeah it came out my warfare like came out like a couple weeks ago okay cool yeah pick that up Okay, appreciate it. No worries, that's, man. All right, I think that's all the questions I have. Appreciate it. Have a good night. No worries, always. Feel free to ask. All good. All right, cool. Thanks.
Appreciate it. Anytime. All right. Bye. Anytime, better. <laughs> yeah, these guys, guys from GameStop are actually nicer than I thought it'd be. They're they're like really willing to to answer. I, I guess it's the one thing that they that they want to do when they're there is you know answer questions about video games. I guess that's why most people get a job at GameStop. Um, but yeah, I try. <laughs> I threw in that weird cat question. He wasn't as weird about it as I I thought they might be. But but yeah, that guy just that guy was definitely a PlayStation homer. I mean, I can't say he's wrong. I mean, they got some good games, but uh, yeah, both these guys have been all over the PlayStation. Um, so yeah, but I got two for PlayStation, none for Xbox One. Let's call one more place and see what they have to say. And this time I'm going to ask them about the Kinect. I'm going to ask them if they think the Kinect is always watching and listening to me. Um, you know, since everybody's paranoid about security and stuff nowadays. I'm going to ask them that. So let's go ahead and call them. Thank you for calling GameStop, where you can get the hottest... Alright, here we go. Hey, so I'm interested in potentially buying an Xbox One or PS4 uh, during Black Friday. Uh, just wondering if you had an opinion on which one I should get. Um, well, let's see. What, were you planning on playing with, like, any friends? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't really have a preference on games. I just, uh, yeah, probably something to, to have around when friends come over. Just kind of hang out and play some games. Okay, I was thinking... More like playing online with friends, because if your friends already play online, then it would be better to get the system that your friends are all playing on. That way you can play with them online. Um, but if you're not really into the online gaming, um, then it would be a preference of um, if you prefer more like RPG games or like first-person shooter games. Um, yeah, I mean, it probably probably wouldn't be online. It'd probably be like local stuff. Um, and I, I don't okay. know. I don't really have a preference on games. I haven't really played video games in a long time. So just anything that... You think, you know, a, a friend might come over and want to just hang out for a little while, not too stressful or anything, just something to do. Um, I'm not sure what kind of... I'd probably go with an Xbox in that situation. Um, the PlayStation is good for, um, like, single-player, um, like, RPGs, um, or if you're planning on um, playing online, but you want a more, like, casual online experience. Um, okay. The gamers on the Xbox One tend to be a little bit more extreme in, like, Call of Duty and, like, the sports games, because they're a little bit more aggressive, I guess, <laughs> if I can put it nicely. Yeah. Um, but I think that for multiplayer games, the Xbox will probably be better in that situation. Okay. I, I know the 360 had, like, the Kinect. D does the Xbox One mm -hmm. still have the Kinect? It does, but the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X models require an adapter in order to use the, um, in order to use the Kinect. Okay. Um, it's only the original model that works with the X or with Connect, um, but the original model has some uh, some quirks to it that are uh, a little less fun. Okay, <laughs> well, if I were to play the Connect, do you think that uh, do you think they'd like be surveilling me all the time with their with their camera and stuff? <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> um, I do know. That um, with the Xbox, it requires internet to do the initial setup, but other than that, you don't have to have it connected to the internet all the time. Okay, so maybe I just unplug it. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll probably just buy an Xbox then. Appreciate it. Do you have any deals going on for Black Friday for an Xbox? Uh, I haven't seen an ad for Black Friday yet. Um, I've heard that there have been some that were leaked online, but we'll see that, unfortunately. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll just check back next week close to Black Friday and see what's going on. Appreciate it. I do know some sales start this weekend. I think there's a handful of sales that do start Sunday. Okay, so I'll check it out then. Okay, appreciate right. it. Thanks. Yeah, of course. You have a nice evening. Thank you. You too. Bye. All right, so got a girl that time, and she recommended me the Xbox One. So I, I, I don't know. I don't have a large sample I don't have a large enough sample size to make this determination, but maybe girls like Xbox Ones and guys like PS4s. I don't know. That's just a random assumption I'm making from from three three phone calls. Um, but the one thing I did get out of this is that GameStop employees on the phone are actually pretty nice. If you ask them like a a genuine question, I kind of felt weird ask, asking her about the uh, the surveillance of the Xbox One Connect, and I think she had an appropriate answer, telling me that she doesn't know because she probably, I mean, obviously she doesn't know, and you know. Maybe they are surveilling you with the the Kinect camera and 
and microphone. I don't know. I'm sure she probably hasn't had, had any questions about the Kinect in forever because nobody actually plays a Kinect anymore. So, but I guess that settles it for now. Uh, it looks like GameStop employees prefer the PS4 out of these three phone calls. Uh, maybe I'll do and make a series out of this and call some some other GameStops or some other stores and see what they prefer. But thanks for watching, guys, or, or I guess in this case, listening. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, and once I get to 100,000, I'll probably do something special. I haven't really thought about it too much yet, but you know, we'll see when we hit it. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.